We continue on with our quest to parameterize curves. Now we're going to parameterize any ellipse, and in the next one we're, we're going to parameterize a part of an ellipse. Let's remember what an ellipse looks like. It has its general form. Remember we have to have a 1 over here. x minus p squared over a squared plus y minus q squared over b squared equals 1. p and q is the center again. A is the semi-horizontal axis, and B is the semi-vertical axis. And our formula, which is getting progressively more complex, is x of t equals a cosine of t plus p, and y of t equals b sine of t plus q. So are we, where we just had the radius here for a circle, we now have a and b. And of course, if we're not given any interval here, then we're considered to take the whole ellipse, so that would be t from 0 to 2 pi. And that gives us our parameterization of an ellipse. Let's see how this works. So here's an example. We're to parameterize the entire ellipse, 2x squared plus 12x plus y squared equals 0. Notice that this is an ellipse because the coefficient of x squared and the coefficient of y squared are not the same. Remember that we need to use the technique of complete the square. y squared is completed, so we're just really working on this part right here. So what do we have? We take 2 out front. We have x squared plus 6x. And we have plus y squared equals 0. Now we need to complete the square in here. So we're going to need another level. So we get a bracket and then x squared plus 2. 6 is 2 times 3x. We'll leave that like that. Plus y squared equals 0. And now we're looking at 2 bracket x. Remember this sign goes all the way down. Plus 3 squared. We've added in the last term, so we have to take it out. Plus y squared equals 0. So what do we have? We have 2 times x plus 3 squared. That's this first term. And then we have this minus 18, but we're going to move it over onto this side. So plus y squared equals 18. And now we notice from our formula we always need a 1 here. So we need to divide by 18. So we have x plus 3 squared divided by 2 over 18 is 9 plus y squared over 18 equals 1. And let's get our information from there. So how much is p? p equals minus 3, and a equals the square root of 9, which is 3. And then what do we have here? q equals 0, and b equals the square root of 18, which is 3 times the square root of 2. So right here is all the information we need for our parameterization. So what is our parameterization? So s of t equals, brace, uh, where are we? x equals a is 3 times cosine of t and then plus p, so minus 3. y equals 3 square root 2 times sine of t. And of course we have our interval, because we were not given anything, of t in 0 to 2 pi. So this is our parameterization of the given ellipse. Let's quickly see this. So here is our ellipse. We have drawn it using the implicit function. 2x squared plus y squared plus 12x equal to 0. Then we drew it in the completed square form. x plus 3 squared divided by 9 plus y, y squared divided by 18 equals 1. We got the same one. And finally, in our parametric form, x equal to 3 cosine of t minus 3 y equal to 3 square root of 2 sine of t, t between 0 and 2 pi.
we see that we get the same ellipse in all three cases. So these are the formulas you need in order to parameterize any ellipse. Now we're going to cut off pieces of the ellipse.